On December 8, 2019, Jared Higgins, better known as Juice World, passed away at the age of 21 after an accidental overdose of codeine and Percocet. His death was a big loss to the music industry and to his fans. In my first video, I detail why you shouldn't drink lean, a drink that has codeine in it. In today's short video, I'll discuss why you shouldn't pop Perks. This is Farm D Vic. Perks is a nickname for Percocet tablets, a brand name drug containing oxycodone, an opioid painkiller, and acetaminophen paracetamol, a painkiller and antipyretic known better around the world by the brand name of Tylenol. Percocet comes in various strengths, with each strength having 325 milligrams of acetaminophen in each tablet. These strengths differ with the amount of oxycodone they have in each tablet, with the amounts being 2.5 milligrams, 5 milligrams, 7.5 milligrams, and 10 milligrams of oxycodone per Percocet tablet. So, despite what you see on social media, there is no such thing as a Perc 30. There are oxycodone 30 milligram immediate release tablets and oxycotton 30 milligram extended release tablets, but I'll discuss this in a different video. As stated in my video on why you shouldn't drink lean, opioids cause euphoria by stimulating reward centers in the brain, causing the release of endorphins. People abuse perks for this reason, as this can trigger a euphoric high in users. However, people develop tolerance to opioids, meaning they need more of the drug to get their initial high. This is where people can run into trouble. Oxycodone has a lot of side effects, with the most prominent being nausea, vomiting, drowsiness, respiratory depression, and constipation, with more serious side effects including kidney damage, liver damage, and lowered blood pressure. Percocet is metabolized by both the kidneys and the liver. Just like codeine, oxycodone is metabolized by liver enzyme CYP2D6. In this case, oxycodone is metabolized into oxymorphone, which is a potent opioid that is more potent than morphine. Oxycodone is also metabolized by liver enzyme CYP3A4, which metabolizes it into noroxycodone, an opioid with little therapeutic effect. Both noroxycodone and oxymorphone are then metabolized into noroxymorphone, which has minimal therapeutic effect as well, which is then eliminated by the kidneys. So like I said about codeine in my first video, oxycodone can cause both liver and kidney damage since it is metabolized by both organs. Acetaminophen, or paracetamol as it is known outside of North America, is also metabolized by the liver. It undergoes various pathways of metabolism through the liver. One of the pathways sees acetaminophen metabolized by liver enzyme CYP2E1, creating a toxic metabolite called NAPQI, which is excreted by the kidneys. When overdosing on acetaminophen, the NAPQI builds up in the liver, causing liver damage, potentially causing liver failure, which may lead to liver transplant and or death. Acetaminophen paracetamol has a max daily limit of 4,000 mg in adults. Going above this puts patients at an increased risk for liver damage. Dr. Paul Little, a former naval officer, told the Washington Post in December 2019 that he used to take 20 to 30 Percocet tablets a day when he was addicted to the substance with 30 tablets being more than twice the daily limit of tablets recommended at any strength by manufacturer endopharmaceuticals. With each Percocet tablet having 325 milligrams of acetaminophen paracetamol, 30 tablets would have 9,750 milligrams of acetaminophen paracetamol, more than twice the daily limit of that drug. With both drugs and Percocet causing liver damage, you can see how overdosing on Percocet is like putting your liver in a fight with Prime Mike Tyson. It's not good for you at all. This doesn't even include the kidney damage that can be caused by both drugs as well. So, it's easy to see how the average person can overdose on Percocet. In the case of Juice World's unfortunate death, he was found to have toxic levels of both oxycodone and codeine in his system. Oxycodone and codeine can both cause nausea, vomiting, drowsiness, slow and shallow breathing from respiratory depression, and sometimes seizures in addition to kidney and liver failure. Juice World had a seizure after landing at Midway Airport in Chicagoland. Not only can oxycodone and codeine cause seizures in events of overdose, but promethazine, the drug often co-formulated with codeine in solution, lowers the seizure threshold, making it easier for seizures to occur. This means that Juice World had three drugs in his system that could increase the risk of having seizures. After overdosing, Juice World was given Narcan, the brand name for naloxone. Naloxone works as an opioid receptor blocker, attaching to opioid receptors, preventing opioids like oxycodone and codeine from displaying their effects. Narcan is sprayed into the nostrils of patients who are believed to have an opioid overdose, which was the case with Juice World. Narcan is considered an antidote for opioid overdoses. Initially, the Narcan reportedly brought Juice World back to consciousness before he was rushed to the hospital. 
However, Juice World would unfortunately pass away and was pronounced deceased at the hospital. With the drugs he took having the ability to affect his breathing, as oxycodone, codeine, and promethazine all have the ability to cause respiratory depression, affect his consciousness, as oxycodone, codeine, and promethazine all also have the ability to put patients in a deep sleep, along with the potential side effects on brain activity from a seizure and potential poor perfusion of blood through the body due to the potential of low blood pressure from oxycodone overdose. Juice World was the unfortunate victim of a cascade of events that proved deadly. Jared Higgins was only 21 years old. He was a young man loved by his family and legions of adoring fans. His honesty is what attracted legions of young fans to him as he was open about his depression and was open about using drugs to cope. Opioid overdose deaths are becoming more and more common in the United States every year even as legal opioid prescriptions have been trending downwards. It's sad that this has happened to a young man with such phenomenal talent, a young man who had the potential to be a household name for decades to come. Let's all work together to beat the opioid epidemic in this country and to help our fellow man. Blessings to the family and friends of Jared Higgins, better known to the world as Juice World. This has been a Viceroy Flair production, and this is Farm D. Vic.